CNN, the Minneapolis Police Department's top homicide detective testified at the murder trial of the former officer who knelt on George Floyd's neck last May that, if your knee is on someone's neck, that could kill them. Lt. Richard Zimmerman, head of the Homicide Division for more than 12 years, testified Friday that Derek Chauvin's actions violated policy and that police are not trained to kneel on a person's neck. Earlier, jurors heard testimony from the sergeant who secured the area shortly after Chauvin knelt on Floyd's neck. Sergeant John Edwards, a 14-year police veteran, said he arrived at the scene of a possible critical incident a little after 9.30 p.m. and had other officers canvass the area for potential witnesses. At the scene, Edwards said, he asked two officers, J. Alexander Kong and Thomas Lane, to activate their body-worn cameras. Both officers were later charged with aiding and abetting second-degree murder and aiding and abetting second-degree manslaughter. Zimmerman arrived at the Chicago Avenue scene shortly before 10 p.m. Kong and Lane were taken to City Hall as part of a critical incident investigation, according to Edwards. On Thursday, jurors heard Chauvin's perspective in the minutes after Floyd's limp body was taken away in an ambulance. It was the second time they heard his take on the events of that day. A clip from Chauvin's body camera, viewed by jurors on Wednesday, showed Chauvin defending his actions to a bystander. Then, a call to Sergeant David Pleoger, his supervisor at the time, was captured on body camera footage and played during Pleoger's testimony on Thursday. Chauvin made the call shortly after kneeling on Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes on May 25 to explain his version of what happened. I was just going to call and have you come out to our scene here, Chauvin told Pleoger. We just had to hold a guy down. He was going crazy. He wouldn't, he wouldn't go in the back of the squad. The video ends but in the rest of the call, Chauvin said Floyd had a medical emergency after struggling with officers trying to put him into a car, according to Pleoger. Chauvin did not mention holding his knee down on Floyd's neck and back, Pleoger said. Pleoger drove to the scene and asked officers to speak to witnesses. We can try, but they're all pretty hostile, Chauvin responded. Later that night, at the Hennepin County Medical Center, Chauvin told his supervisor that he had knelt on Floyd's neck, Pleoger told the jury. Once the person is cuffed, the threat level goes down all the way, the lieutenant said on the stand. The clip from Chauvin's body camera played for the jury on Wednesday also showed him defending his actions to a bystander who called him out for his treatment of Floyd. That's one person's opinion, Chauvin responded as he got into his squad car. We had to control this guy because he's a sizable guy. It looks like he's probably on something. New body cam footage from trial of officer's reaction after interaction with George Floyd 344. His version of the encounter is contradicted by videos showing Chauvin kneeling on Floyd, who was handcuffed after he had passed out. Prosecutors said he knelt on Floyd for 3 minutes and 51 seconds during which Floyd was non-responsive. Chauvin has pleaded not guilty to charges of second-degree murder, third-degree murder and second-degree manslaughter. The defendant, in a suit and tie, has sat at the defense table, taking notes on a large legal pad. Earlier Thursday, Floyd's girlfriend spoke about Floyd's struggles with opioid addiction, and a pair of first responders testified that Floyd appeared dead when they arrived. Supervisor says Chauvin's use of force should have ended earlier. Sergeant David Pleoger, formerly of the Minneapolis Police Department, said force should stop when a party is under police control. Pleoger's testimony centered on police protocols for the use of force. Officers can use force in certain circumstances, but that force should stop once the person is under control. Cleoger testified that his review of